Today, I'm gonna to be comparing animals that are very similar, but radically different in price. Night Fury is a solid black snake. This is also a jet black snake, but this is a Mexican black king snake. And another jet black snake, but this actually is a black milk snake, born with triads, which are black, red, and yellow, and they turn into black snakes when they get to adulthood. Another black snake, but this one has a little bit of red, and it's called a Musarana rat snake. These guys could get like nine foot long. Yet another black snake, but these are black African house snakes. And Night Fury, the motley golden child reticulated python, can cost up to $5,000. And Mexican black king snakes' babies go for about $200 to $250. And black milk snakes sell for about $500 as babies. And these Musarana rat snakes can go for about $800. And these guys go for about $150 to $200 as babies. This is an albino piebald ball python. And this is a lavender albino piebald ball python. They're very similar. You can see this one's a little bit brighter, but this one goes for about $600. And this one could go up for up to $3,000. We're gonna play a little game with these guys. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, do you guys know what the loser's gonna have happen? No. I get stabbed. Well, we're gonna play five rounds. Whoever wins the best of five rounds gets away. The one that doesn't has to hold the salmon bird eating tarantula. <laughs> no way. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, let's get it. I can't say what I wanna say on camera. Uh, I'm not worried about it. What costs more, a dozen eggs or a loaf of bread? A dozen eggs. Loaf of bread. Fire brand of eggs that cost a buck. You yeah. go to any grade organic, it's like $3.49 a dozen. What type eating? I was talking about a dozen eggs, and I would think most people think generic eggs, which go for about 79 cents to 99 cents. A loaf of bread is about $1.70. Oh! Have you ever heard of inflation? <laughs> this is a piebald ball python, and this is a mahogany piebald ball python. And this piebald ball python goes for about $400, and this mahogany pie that looks pretty similar goes for $1,250. This is an albino ball python, and this one happens to be an albino piebald ball, ball python, which is a double recessive mutation with this white patterning on the albino. The albino ball python goes for about $250, whereas the albino pie can go upwards of $750. This is a mangrove snake known as a melanota. This is a mangrove snake called a gemacincta, and as these get older, they actually turn jet black. This is also a mangrove snake called a multicincta, and it just has a lot more yellow bands. This is also a mangrove snake, but this is actually called a divergent, which is absolutely beautiful, and really the pinnacle of all the mangroves. Woo. And little melanotas go for about $500 as babies. And gemacinctas as babies go between $1,000 and $1,500. And multisincta go for about $1,000 a piece as babies. Divergents actually can sell for up to $2,500 a piece as babies, but who doggy? This one's a fired up monkey. And this is just a normal bearded dragon. His name is Fred, by the way. What the heck is Pepper doing? <laughs> I've never seen her do that before. What is she doing? Oh, she's back in the water. That was up. weird. And this is Flaming Hot Cheeto is selectively bred for this beautiful color. It's called a hypo trans, but it's also bred for the orange color. And normal bearded dragons with no genetics behind them go for anywhere from $50 to $75. And depending on the color and the breeder, these guys can go for up to $800. And by the way, guys, I really don't follow pricing at all when it comes to reptiles, so I had to do a lot of research for this video. So do me a favor, smash that like button and hit that subscription. So these are chocolate, mint, salt, and pepper. <laughs> this is a banana clown ball python. And this is a banana leopard clown ball python. Although similar snakes, the banana clown goes for about $400. The banana leopard clown can go for as much as $1,500. What's more expensive, the cost of a frozen pig per pound or the cost of a frozen rabbit per pound? Definitely pig. pig. You're right, it's a pig. I'm still up by still one. Down by one. <laughs> a gallon of normal milk or a dozen bagels. Uh, all them bagels are more expensive. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be like a couple cent different. Bagels, let's go bagels. Dude! It happens to be milk, about $4.02 per gallon. What are we doing? what kind of milk are you buying, yes. boy? Half a gallon of Guernsey chocolate milk is $4.50. I buy it all the time. Did he say a full gallon? This is a Wilma python from Australia. And this is a black-headed python from Australia as well. And Wilma pythons go for about $400 a piece as babies. And the only real difference between a Wilma and a blackhead, although they are different species is the fact that the blackheads have a black head. They look pretty similar other than that, and they do get a little bit larger, but black-headed pythons can sell for as much as $1,500. This is an albino red-eared slider turtle, and this is an albino pink-bellied side-neck turtle. The albino red-eared slider goes for about $250 a piece, whereas the albino pink-bellied side-neck turtle goes for about $350, and although they're very similar looking, there's obviously a price difference, and that's the thing I find so interesting, right? And we're gonna take a look at a lot of that today is the difference between animals that look almost 
identical but have wide ranges of pricing. This is an albino milk snake called a Nelson's milk snake. And this is also an albino milk snake, but this is an albino Honduran milk snake. And albino Nelson's milk snakes go for about $200 as baby. And albino Honduran sell for between $300 and $400 a piece for babies. You ready for this, Mike? Yeah, go ahead. All right, chicken strip. There you go. Whoa! He's got a hell of a grip on him. Oh, Whoa! Oh my! Ah! 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 Jeez! Mike, what are you doing, man? This guy went crawling in on top of me. Ow! Okay, I'm backing up. You can tell you. Ow, look at that, dude! You can see me in the face. There. Ow, you don't think I'm trying? Problem is, it's nails. Hey, buddy. What's up, little dude? Woo -hoo, look. Now it's easy. Oh! And although these two actually look relatively similar, this is an albino oh! Nile Potter. Check his Don't touch him, Mike, Dad. He's not gonna do anything. Use your. He's not gonna do anything. Don't come close. Although these two look pretty similar, albino oh. Nile monitors, there's the only one in the world. Of course, chicken strip that you guys have seen before. And then this is Hiccup, which is the only snow blind monitor in this country. This one would cost about $15,000. That one is basically priceless because it's the only one. Probably could get $100,000 if I wanted to sell it, but I'm not interested in selling it. This is what they call a Superconda Western Hognose Snake. This is also a Western Hognose, but this is an Albino Anaconda Western Hognose Snake. This is an Azanthic Anaconda Western Hognose Snake. And the Superconda is actually the super form of an Anaconda Hognose Snake. And they go for about $600 dollars a piece. Albino anaconda hognose go for about $300 as baby. And the azanthic anaconda western hognose snakes sell for about $500 a piece. The thing is, is that pricing really is determinant on the rarity, right? So with mutations, it's the more that they actually are produced, the less the price is, as well as demand. You know, if something is really beautiful, obviously it's worth more money. So it's rarity, demand, and beauty that drives the price of each individual animal. This beautiful little monkey here is what they call a snow calking, which is albino and a chocolate calking mix. This is a lab Lavender Snow California King Snake, which is a lavender albino bred to a chocolate cow king. And these snow cow kings sell for $250 as baby. And these cute little purple snakes here sell for about $500. How about we try comparing prices of our trip to Italy or our trip to Mexico? And this is just a really pretty lined gargoyle gecko. This is actually a Deadpool lined gargoyle gecko that is actually fired down. When it's fired up, it is fire engine red. And this little monkey here would sell for between $250 and $350. $50. And Deadpool line is one of the most sought out lines from Tiki's Gecko going for up to $1,000 a piece. What's more expensive, an ARS racking system or a Freedom Breeder racking system? Freedom Breeder. Oh, if you want to win, you can't keep copying me. ARS? It would happen to be Freedom Breeder. Whoa! No, no wins! Mike, get ready! Let's do it. I don't want to do it. I'm going home. Bruce! Do you want me to get it out for you? I feel like I should try. You okay. should do it. Su su Supervise so I don't come die. Come on, come on, come on. Jake over here, picking up his first branch. I'm tarantula. so scared. No, don't touch me. Yeah, you He's like, go. He's like, go. Look at that. See that? Oh, no, no. He did it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This is it. He did it. Can you take out the salmon bird eater? Yeah. yeah. All right, so Mike needs to hold it. <laughs> Mike is like the dead man walking. The dead man squatting right now. Down the green mile. Oh, no, don't make me do it. It's already reared up. Dude, dude stop. This is not fair. Oh, oh my god. Close your eyes. It runs around people. Just Guys, just stand still. Stand still like this. If it runs up my arm, will somebody grab it? Yes. I don't Bruce will grab it if Bruce it runs, all right? Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'll grab it. I mean, it's already so posturing. He's sweaty already. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See how his feet are up like that? He's what already, does that mean? He's posturing. He's that upset. Means, oh my. He's angry. You Oh, if it, if it runs so up my arm, you have to take it. He absolutely will. Yeah, absolutely. What he said is he'll absolutely will. Yeah, Bruce yeah. I'll absolutely run. Yeah, yeah. I'll go the other <laughs> direction. Yeah, absolutely. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out this thing's dangerous. Is it going to bite me? Stop being a baby, Mike. Let's go. I'm being the biggest baby right now. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, okay. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> but oh my God, I'm going to freak out. So clammy. I, oh, okay. If it runs up, you have to take it. I'm going to get my pants. Dude. Get it, get it, get it. It's on my hand. I can't do this. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I, I felt two fingers. I freaked out. I can't do it. You did it. What do you mean you can't do it? You did it. No, I. Oh, okay. I'm done. Look at it. That's. Oh, that. No. <laughs>
This is a patternless African rock python. This is a normal African rock python that's a little bit fired up. Woo -hoo -hoo. What is going on, girl? You're okay? And patternless African rock python sell for up to $1,500 a piece. And who doggy, they are beautiful. And these guys would actually sell for about $250 to $300. This is a single gene recessive clown ball python. And this is a double recessive ghost or what they would call a hypo clown. And a normal clown goes for about $300. You add that hypo or ghost gene in and it could go for up to $1,800. This is a blue-eyed leucistic ball python, which is a super lesser. And this is a black-eyed leucistic ball python, which is a super fire ball python. These guys go for about $400. These guys go for up to $550. This is a pinstripe ball python. And this is a ghost pinstripe, or what they would call a hypo pinstripe. And then another recessive mutation added to pinstripe is actually called ultramel. This happens to be an ultramel pinstripe. And pinstripe ball pythons go for about $125. And hypo pinstripes sell for about $200 as babies. And ultramel pinstripes sell for for about $500. You see, the thing is that every time you change a little bit with the snake, it changes the price sometimes pretty radically. This is a gorgeous jungle carpet python. And these come from a place called the Atherton Tablelands in Australia. And this is a diamond python. These guys come from the New South Wales area in Australia. And a really nice jungle carpet python like this could sell up to $500. And diamond pythons can go anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 a piece. This is a sunrise northern blue tongue skink. It's got all of that yellow in its polygenically bred to be absolutely gorgeous. And this is Irwin, which is just a normal northern blue tongue skink. And then there's Potato. He's another blue tongue skink, but he's actually a Centralian blue tongue skink that comes from the center of Australia. And these guys can sell for $1,250 to $1,500. And baby blue tongue skinks sell for about $250 to $350. And because of the rarity in this country, Centralian blue tongue skinks can sell for as much as $10,000. And speaking of black snakes that we looked at earlier, we actually had a black house snake that looked like she laid a clutch of eggs. So let's take a look real quick. Where is she at? She's actually wrapped around him here. We'll go ahead and get her out of here. She's not a very big girl, that's for sure. There you go, silly. Oh, she's biting me. Whoa. What are you doing? I'm not happy I'm taking her eggs away from her. Oh, yeah, she's a very small animal, but she actually laid four beautiful eggs. Look at these eggs right here. Unbelievable. So there you go. Looks like we're going to have four more black house snakes ready to go here in just a couple months. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone. His head was on my head. <laughs> And it was like terrifying.